Hello everyone, today we are starting a new Surviving Mars playthrough. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I play mostly city builders and strategy games, but you can find other games like RPGs here. I'm interested in games mostly which are involves problem solving or has a good story. Check out this video, watch another one and if you still like what you see, then smash the subscribe button. I also read all of my comments, so I hope you see it down in the comment section. In this playthrough, we are attempting the 10,000, not 10,000 colonies, that's, that's another one. Uh, I put it right up there if you're interested in that. So we are starting the uh, 100, not 100, 1000, uh, 1000 uh, percentage difficulty. So for that, uh, we start with the Paradox Interactive. I once tried it uh, with uh, the last, uh, the Church of the New Ark but that was just just too hard so i already decided what rules to use so we will do the doctor only logo let's do the mars express mystery is the method one i never uh, did that mystery so it will be new for me and for the game rules well to reach that difficulty you can guess right if you I think I have to do all the bad stuff. And some of these I don't even know how exactly works, like Rebel Yell or Inflation. But I guess we will find out. Okay, maybe don't need that many orbital probe. Can bring more drones, or more parts. I'd rather bring a little bit of more. Weapons. Okay, and I'm already selected the perfect spot for this playthrough. Maybe it matters if it's small or big letter or capital letter. Yes, it's a little bit higher than uh, a thousand, but I, I couldn't make it just a thousand. And I know it can go higher a little bit. Maybe 1200 is reachable if you are, you are really, really want it really hard. But uh, I don't want any harder than that, because it will be enough, at least for me. Also, later I can try even harder one if I manage to do this. At least we will have a lot of water. So let's start. Okay guys, it turned out that uh, I planned ahead and in this location and I thought all the resources uh, are the same on every location. It turned out it's not the case. So I had to do a, a little bit of uh, exploring and reloading the game a, a couple of times. But now I, I convinced this is the good spot. Or at least I, I didn't do the whole map, but this looks like an okay spot because there are uh, several rare metals deposits here and a few not few only one uh, metal deposit so metal can be a problem in the long run but we will see so we will have a touchdown here but before we do that let's uh, start researching and yeah this is this is a very good one have less fuel and more research that's also great and soil adaptation also very very good and important for us right now let's use the probes and reveal the metal there so we can plan with that
Okay, let's select the landing site. Wow, we have polymers here. That's great. This will be a great help to us. Very high, very high. Okay. We have a research site, but we can't use that. But I will still try it. Okay, so we need the water and all these things around here. Okay, touching down and we need an explorer. Oh, wait a minute. What do we have on the... We have an explorer. Okay, so let's bring along then a transport and a commander. Scan that normally and let's set up the base. We have to start uh, fuel production immediately. So we need your refinery. And this is, yeah, it's making dust. So how about... Move that there. Okay, so we can put... The fuel refinery right there. I want to put it like this. Okay, it's out of the dust range. We need pipes. Connect these, and of course we will need uh, power. And we already have... What? I didn't want to do that. We should have, yes, a sterling generator. So let's put the sterling generator there. Let's put power these two. Or even more if we open it up. Okay, uh, production, yes, concrete extractor. Okay, what else do we need? We need uh, storages. An universal depot there. And we put a fuel depot there. And we don't store fuel here. Okay, now we can go. Okay, or other mod drones, rovers have arrived. So, we put the commander here to help the others, and the RC transport start to collect metals. Also, the base construction is almost ready. Uh, I put down a sensor tower so it will be quicker to scan all the surrounding areas. And also we have a, a few new technology we already analyzed normally. And we will see what this will hold for us. Uh, 
And of course, I forgot to put down. We've this. discovered a magnificent vista at the side of the anomaly. 50 new applicants on uh, Earth. Okay, that's good. So, what I forgot to put down, of course, is the dumping site. And concrete depot. Because we will need that. There's a lot of concrete in here. Sector scanned. I want these two to be scanned first. So we can start building a ramp. And I believe, yeah, we just need to uh, carve a, a road out of here. Monetary upgrades. The mission HQ on Earth has declared that effectiveness of our resource extraction as main priority. The extra amplification project has received a massive funding increase and a lot of scientific focus has been shifted towards it. The top brass wants you to be begin installing the new upgrades as soon as possible. The tech track amplification has been revealed and it costs you the first class. Oh, we, we will have time to research. We need a supply pot. 60 polymers? Are you mad? This early in the game? Okay. That's great. We have a lot of polymers. Which means we can store a lot of energy in accumulators. Which is good. Okay. So I think uh, we can uh, have a better use of this drone commander. Uh, he, oh, oh, you finished collecting stuff. So we have to uh, crave uh, or carve a road. Passage. Too large. What do you mean too large? Sector scanned. That will be a lot of waste. Work. So don't waste any time. Okay, guys, we managed to finish this one, but our rovers have been damaged by these dust devils. So we have to repair them, Sector and I scan. think because we have to uh, go around these uh, crates, uh, craters, crates. I think we should be build a passage here as well. No, no, no. Okay, that was a bad idea altogether. Go and fix that rover. Oh, it's okay. Strange, but welcomed. Almost finished the advanced engines which will be help us a lot because we need uh, less fuel and i want to remove this waste from here so we can build that ramp and to access all areas it's important because 
sooner or later we will have a meteor storm and meteors grant us uh, metal which we don't have uh, that much around here and they will also drop a few uh, anomalies which we can scan and quicken our research let's place the dome uh, and start uh, pairing for the people to arrive and that's an average one that's an average one that's a very high this is the uh, bigger one I don't want to place dome uh, any more further hmm where is that we stop we have found Oh, it just gave us the applicants. All right. Then let's go here. What's the dust range on that? Okay, it doesn't. Well, I think it matters for the cables, but no, we usually don't maintain cables, so this will be fine. Hold on a minute, I don't want to build that right now, at least not yet. So it can produce five water, okay, that's a good one, then, uh, then we have to build uh, water towers. Research complete. We need a moxie. We will need uh, power as well. Oh, research complete. Scanned. Okay, now that's nice. And we found a new anomaly. Let's send the explorer there. Yep, I haven't connected the pipes. So let's do that and let's put an oxygen tank here as well. I want to fill these water tanks because surviving the disasters that's the that's the one of the best way to have uh, storage but we will have cold waves so these can be uh, these guys can froze so we will need a heater sooner or later but for the heater, we will need uh, power. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren oh, environment. Oh, that's the red great! Planet. We now have a lot of stuff. All the factories are in the engineering. No, I think some of them in the robotics. Yeah, let's just cargo space. More applicants will appear on Earth. Oh, the, these are the tools that we, are, we really, really need. Maybe not that one. We'll see. Maybe we need this more. Oh, that's... That's costly. That's costly. Okay, so where were we? We want more power. We 
because we have to power that uh, dome. We're almost ready. No, we are ready to launch. So get back to Earth. Yeah, and, and at this point, we can just build this up. Milestone achieved. But not before. Okay, I make a mistake. Because I didn't put down a drone hub. And we need that. Uh, yeah. I think that's a good place. Put it. And here, we can put down several solar panels. Okay, as you can see, guys, we have an incoming great dust storm. But at least we have finished the dome. We have enough uh, power to power everything. So we will see. I want to put down a landing pad. So when the rocket returns, it won't uh, power in dust. Uh, everything won't be covered in dust. Let's put it right there next to the fuel. So three souls. So until this dust storm is uh, so until the dust storm is uh, uh, over, we cannot land any rockets. Okay, and we don't have enough Research power. Complete. So let's turn this one off. Let's turn this one off. You know really need that oh the moxie is turned off because of the dust storm that's why we, we have to store oxygen no it won't be decreasing because we are turning this one off and then we have enough power okay and we research the explorer ai great yes we need the soil adaptation Probably need this so we can build more fewer uh, refineries. And we need the social because sooner or later we have to build a university. And we need some biotech as well. Uh, to improve uh, the dome. I don't know the rocket flight time. I guess it's least it is least a soul. So when the uh, the dust storm reaches one soul, we will uh, find out. We will select the twelve brave men, and we will bring them here. Okay, guys. As you see, a lot of happened. We have leaks, but uh, drones fixing that. But uh, essentially, I think all of our supplies will be lost, or many, or much of it. Which is not good. However, we have found uh, an anomaly here, and that meant we could uh, research the soil adaptation. Which will help us feed everyone. And uh, a meteor uh, crashed here, or landed here, and we have a new anomaly to analyze. So I'm sending the explorer right there, and we also made a path here. And now I believe, yes, we can reach every part of the map in case uh, something happens like that again. So you have to go back, 
and we are ready to select or our first 12 colonists we have 10 sexy people so we will okay oh middle aged no 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 we don't want middle aged people Want youth and adults. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh... Lona, it doesn't matter as long as he's sexy. We have a lot of loners. We had a tourist. We don't need tourists. We just work on like that's that's a good combination. Okay, let's aim for youth then. Loner Zone population over 30. I don't think we will have a, a over 30. So religious fit loner. Okay. Just a simple loner. Okay. Survivor and composed. Okay, now we will hand select the rest of it. We have a fit and youth. Okay. Um, a genius. Yeah, we need a genius. Any more special? No. Okay. That needs three more people, and we have one couple, two females, three females, four. Then we have three female without a mate. Two. Okay. So it doesn't matter. We can we can bring whatever sex we want. Got a sunburn. Hmm. Survivor and sex, but she's middle aged. Youth, okay. It's an adult male. It's perfect. And mom. The youth. Okay. These will be our founders. Launch in a way. We will have space when they arrive. But I had to turn the dawn off uh, because it would eat all of our powers and I want to produce fuel also let's build a farm here 
now as you can see the dust storm is over but we will have meteor storm so things happening here pretty fast but at least uh, if it doesn't hit the colony that can be beneficial uh, let's oh let's pull you back let's pull you back here and i'm really hoping that the meteor store don't hit uh, the meteor storm don't hit this colony because a rock right there would be pretty devastating okay let's see also let's put an oxygen tank there as well at least it's a shorter one okay and it is uh, right there is okay i guess and in that little time it won't i think they can't uh, reach us that's a relief and maybe it will bring us some resources Sector and research down. equal economics response are influenced that do change in the economic uh, condition the import price of the key resources will soon be increased it turns out that even uh, mars is not beyond the reach of stock market uh, hiccups uh, on our mother planet the import price of polymers will be increased by 100% in 5 souls. Okay, I understood. Okay, our colonists have just arrived. They are landing right now. And I had to order a supply port because we ran out of machine parts. And we have to hurry and, and research the, New the, uh, the have factory. Arrived. Okay, guys, we are doing a planetary anomaly mission because we have which we need an explorer and we can get a breakthrough technology from that. We are sending that expedition right now. And when uh, it returns with the explorer, we can scan this new anomaly we found here. Oh, some more uh, metal. And I think we need a rare metal extractor. Because we need some currency to buy more stuff. Discovered. Wireless power. What's that? Okay, that's not that good. Reso re uh, recharging drones is not that a problem right now. Okay, the meteor storm is over, so let's move here and collect the bounty of the stars or asteroids. Research complete. Milestone achieved. Okay. For the first time, a human has been born on Mars. It's truly a unique miracle. So we manage the 
evaluate the colony positively. And we research the new yes. We need this. More applicants we don't need that, but we need to increase our research rate. And I also want uh, the social tree because there is a tech which will give us uh, a great sum of money. And I have the funny feeling that we will need that. Meteor incoming. Damn! We got a meteor hit right there. And the sun is almost done, or, or, or down. <sighs> Our colonists are suffering from hypothermia. Troubling. Okay, that was a quick fix. Are you still getting the genius colonist? Uh, it's... Oh, it's because the uh, explorer is down. I have to protect it or, or be more careful uh, around this explorer more because 100 research points depend on it. Come on, we need more children. Damn. These dust devils are really persistent. Go away now. I want to fix that because we need the research. Okay. Damn it, I just knew it. Okay. We fix the drones. Fix the uh, rover. Come on, come on. Okay, and now you should be always stationed near the base. And we will send you out when uh, we have some kind of anomaly to scan. And what I meant to do is to build another uh, atomic, not atomic accumulator, we don't have that. Yeah, just a simple power accumulator. We can put it right there. No, not right there. Let's put it there. And I think we need a few more of these solar panels. Like two more. Plus ten for every day. What's the status on the transport? He collected what he could. I'm constantly collecting uh, metal because there's a lot of surface metal, at least. And maybe that will support us until we can reach one of the metal deposits. Okay guys, we found two more anomalies and a third one there. That's probably a meteor. But that's great. Which is not great, or what is not great is that uh, our machine parts are very low. 
and we don't have money buy more so soon i will turn this thing off so i can save the maintenance cost anomaly analyzed there's more to the barren environs of the red planet than manufacturing electronics factory we need the the machine parts factory or at least enough money to buy a prefab that's why i want uh, the social tech tree because there is one tech which can uh, provide us with uh, the billion money okay we just got our first cold wave and it is as terrible as you might think wow Blanket platform is as your report should in the code because as you feel all of the dome heaters have failed. The power surge has caused a massive failure in the heating system of dome silver back. Using back uh, backup heaters can keep everybody warm enough, but the dome's power consumption has been increased 200 percent We can't do this. We don't have enough and i don't know when i can drink so we have the train for such a situation we will preserve okay and we have to preserve so everything that is not necessary oxygen we have the cold will be lost by salt we don't need oxygen production But we don't have uh, access to our water supplies, so we need the water extractor going. But we don't need the fuel refinery going. Okay. And basically, I managed to turn uh, down everything or turn off everything. Well, we don't really need this either. So. I think now the situation will be manageable during uh, daytime. Also, we found uh, 30 rare metals. So we can export something. That's the one with the money. That's what I want. Okay, now that's bad because we are losing power even during daytime. Which means we have to build a lot more solar panels. There. Because we have to supply enough power during the day and also recharge the batteries. That's still not enough because we, with that many solar panel, we can uh, supply the dome during daytime, but we cannot supply it uh, once the sun is down. So, guys, we have a serious problem because it seems that these three atomic accumulators cannot support the dome. 
so maybe we should build another one and that then landmower is still here i thought it went away i hope it doesn't uh you cannot really hear here uh in but uh it's loud enough that i cannot hear my thoughts So, maybe we should build another power accumulator. Because this one needs 75 power. Or we just... Or we just try to go through it as it is. Let's try uh, another power accumulator. Maybe that will help. Resources are low. Right, doing this. Oh, that's even worse because they will not have any <coughs> water. The colonists are on the brink of dehydration. Oh my. Sector scanned. Let's find a new anomaly. Well, let's scan that. Okay, now and hopefully we can uh, charge this one and it is charging up We'll see how this night will go. Oh, it will lead to a break technology. Bad. Breakthrough discovered. Safe mode. The only suppressing program they fall asleep and wake up the first seven sleep. Suicide. The game flows due to sanity breakdowns. Oh yeah. Of course we need that. And now you're back to base. Now let's see if that thing solved our problem for the night. Because they can output now 80 or just 60. Yeah, that was the problem. So only this uh, living complex doesn't have uh, power. I don't think the power will last through the night. Well, more or less, more or less it will last. charge every uh, battery during the daytime. Ok, 
okay guys i think uh, i call this as a first episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it please consider to put a like on the video and i see you in the next one bye